Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use project templates in Reaper. I have a project set up here already. And as you can see, I have a bunch of drum tracks, a bass track, a few guitars, and a vocal track. And down here, I created some effects returns. And we can see this better if we open up the mixer. We can see right over here, I have a bunch of compressors on each track with some EQ, all the pan setup, and the volumes. This is based on a previous session that I recorded with a live band. So if I'm recording a new session with a new band, I don't want to have to start all over. I prefer to use this project as a template. And luckily, we can do that in Reaper. So all we have to do is go to the File menu and go down here to Project Templates. And then we can save it right here, save Project as Template, and we'll give it a name. I'm going to call it Live Band Recording Template. And then we can save it. Now at any point, if we open up Reaper, it's going to look like this with a blank project. But all we have to do to use that template is go to the file menu, go down here to project templates, and choose that template we saved, live band recording template. And then it opens up just like that, ready to go and start recording our full band. And then to save it, we'll go to the file menu, save project as, and then give it a name and go down here and create a subdirectory for the project and copy all media into that project directory on save. This will be ready to go with the new session that we're recording. And we could do this with every live session we record. Now, a great way of setting this up is to simply delete all the audio in your project, and then save that file as a template. So we could use it again that easily. As we can see, under project templates, I've already created a whole bunch. I have an EDM mixing template, a film editing template for dealing with video, the live band template we just saved, I have a Ninjam template for jamming online, which looks like this, where it can connect to a server and start jamming. And then we could choose to save project as when we're done. I have another one for programming drums, which looks like this with the drum sampler on this track, with the samples ready to go, and all the routing for the samples go into these tracks. So I'm ready to start recording these drums with MIDI. And again, we could save it as a new project when we're done. And I also have a rock mixing template, a sound effects template, that includes some sound effects samples, and finally, a voice editing template, which I use to edit my voiceover for these videos. But let's start a new project. Let's say we don't want to start each project like this, where it's empty. We can create a project template just for that. Let's set one up quickly, make a few tracks. We probably want to adjust the project settings right over here to the sample rate for our media to be saved in separate folders. We we'll deal with the advanced project settings. And let's say we wanted to use this every time we open up Reaper as a new project template. We could do that as well. Go into File, go into Project Templates, and save this project as a template. I'm going to name it New Project Template and then save it. 
And then we'll go to the preferences. Under options, preferences, and then we'll choose under project, this section over here. Let's browse for that file. Under our templates, new project template, and then it shows up right here. So now, if we choose new project, instead of it being empty and starting over, it opens up exactly how we saved that new project template, including all the project settings we saved. So every time we choose new project, it opens up like this, or however we saved it. But it's a great time saver to save and use these project templates for each type of project you do, whether it be recording a live band or jamming online or editing some voiceover like this. It's a lot quicker to get started when you're not working from scratch. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use the project templates in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.